Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective, and today's topic is called Diamond in the Rough. Now, um, if you see my last video, added bonus. I explained in that video, um, that God gave me two revelations. Now, the first revelation was on that video. The second revelation is what I'm going to explain now in this video. Now, as I explained to you in the other video about, you know, diamonds and currency, right now I'm talking about diamonds. So, God gave me a download with diamonds. So, I looked up diamonds. Because, of course, I already knew there was, like, rare and so many people want them. But I looked up some of the different benefits and different things about diamonds. What is a diamond? And it was like speaking some words that was like probably just not even just me, probably a lot of y'all probably ain't gonna really understand. So I'm just gonna like break it down to what I was trying to say. And pretty much it's a diamond. A diamond is a crystal structure that transforms slow under pressure. So what God revealed to me, under God, if you're born again, we're pretty much diamonds. Even though being a Christian, turning to a Christian. It's a quick word, like he went Saul who turned into Paul. First he was converting Christians, and then all of a sudden, just like that, suddenly he became a Christian. God can do a quick word, but how how many people know that Christianity is not just a one step thing? It's a process. Like you're not a Christian just one day time you accept God and time you step into the water, but you're a Christian every single day. It's not just a Sunday when you go to church and open your Bible. You're supposed to do it every single day, Sunday through the next Sunday. So it's a process. So when pretty much when it says here, it transforms slowly under pressure. Sometimes it takes pressure in order for people to change. It took for me to have a brain aneurysm. And even then, I still didn't quite change. It took like a year and a half. But from from, with the, from the brain aneurysm up to other things that I was going through, that was the thing that made me say, okay, yeah. So sometimes it takes pressure. Even when, um, when I was younger, uh, I was like a procrastinator. I'm not now, but back then I was like a procrastinator. And it took like pressure, like, okay, you need to get up. You need to do this. You need to do that. And like back then I didn't look at it like, oh, oh they just, I'm just being annoyed or, you know, aggravated. But now I'm very grateful that, you know, it did happen. So sometimes it takes pressure for you to change. I was reading like it takes a room temperature, certain room temperature, and um, certain pressure in order for it to transform transform into a diamond. If it doesn't have that pressure, it's not going to transform into a diamond. Sometimes I gotta put God gotta put that pressure on you. <laughs> whether it's a relationship that is like heartbroken, or whether it's a loss of a loved one, or whether it's something that you depend solely on or every breath and moment, when it's supposed to be Jesus, your every breath and moment, yeah, it's like God's going to apply the pressure. That's what God gave me to them. So when it says the slow part, I took that as a process. Because like I said, being a Christianity, it's a process. It's not just a one day thing. Like I said, even though you might become a Christian just like that. One day you sin and the next minute you're a Christian. But you have to do that every day. Read your Bible every day. Pray every day. Do do godly things every day. It's not just a one day thing. So that's what it means when it says slow here. Slow here pretty much means a process. An ongoing process in the spiritual realm. Another thing said, we're talking about diamonds. They're rare because so few are able to survive the difficult journey from the pit of the earth to the surface. That's one thing um, that I found when I looked up about a diamond. And let me re repeat that. It says a diamond is rare because so few are able to survive the difficult journey from the pit of the earth to the surface. This is what God gave me um, a revelation of. It pretty much reminds me of Herbal of the Sower. I think, I think it's the one where some some um, seeds got um, lost on stony ground. I think thorns. Thorns and stony ground. And it's pretty much saying like when you receive the word, you, you accept it with gladness and joy. But the cares of this world or either that you're going through, it, it pretty much detour you. You can't really find diamonds like that because like I said, so few survive the difficult journey. Are you surviving the difficult journey of being a follower of Christ? Are you falling on stony ground? Are you falling on thorns? You're accepting the word, 
but you can't hold on to it because times are getting hard or you're too focused on the cares of this world. So many few diamonds, they're rare because it's good for them to survive in this difficult journey. Are you that person? Please don't be that person. It also brings me to mind about um, the scripture where it says, narrow is the way and why is the gate. And it's pretty much saying like, why is the gate of destruction? People that's going to hell because their gate is just so wide. So many people can go through it. Because if you look around with this world, some people, they don't want to be Christian because they don't want to go through certain stuff. Being a Christian, they don't want to deny their flesh. So pretty much their gate is wide open. But if a person want to deny themselves and they want to be a follower of Christ, are you the one that finds it difficult to survive through the pit in the palace? You know about Joseph, he was in the pit to the palace. First, he expressed his pit years, you know, going to jail, being lied on, getting sold into slave by his brothers. But then he reached the palace where he became up under the king, making provision for his brothers and pretty much everybody in Egypt. Just because you're uh, a son of God doesn't mean that you won't go through certain things. So be mindful of that, but you got to be able to go through that difficult journey. Your ups, downs, as long as you got Christ here, he won't leave you. If you want to become that diamond, you got to go through that difficult journey. Another thing that it asks is, can, the, uh, can a diamond scratch easily? The answer was yes. Even though tough, they are vulnerable to scratches. That's just pretty much the same in a Christian world. Can a Christian scratch? Can a, a Christian be touched by the enemy? Yes. With Job, he didn't do no wrong at all. But he got did he get touched? However, when he got touched, God told um, Satan to spare his life, don't take his life away. So you you will get touched even if you're serving God. Ever as long as you're in God, you won't be harmed, and it won't last for a long time. Even you, you realize even with the book of Job that Job wasn't afflicted for a long time. He was afflicted forever. At the end, pretty much he passed the test. And he pretty much recover but also if you're not in christ you will get touched as well don't think just because you're doing so-called good for what you think you're doing good and you won't get touched by the enemy because you will if you continue to keep on living this um, unsafe life and doing things to gratify the flesh and pretty much things that got opposed then you will get touched by the enemy as well so you gotta look at it both ways. If you're in God, you can get touched. Even I was having like, a, why am I going through certain things for so long and this and that? And I read like God showed me Hezekiah when Hezekiah was going to perish. He do nothing. He was righteous and he was going to perish. But when he cried out to God, God extended his life for 15 more years. So you can see where sometimes you won't do anything. You can be righteous and you can still be touched in God. So don't think you can get touched. But if you're in God, just know that he won't let no harm come to you and you will recover in Jesus' name. Last but not least, it says, can um, diamonds be burned? And the answer was yes, when carbon atoms break their bonds with each other. Now, the revelation God gave to me is, can a son of God be burned? And when I mean burned, I mean burned by hellfire. And the answer is... Like it says, it's yes. And the way they can be burned, if a person is a son of God and they pretty much turn their back on God. Pretty much, they was good one minute being godly, and then the next minute, they're ungodly. They, they turn back into the world. Now, I understand you being a, a, a son of God that you might do or say some things at times that's contrary to God, but that's when you repent and you turn away from it. However, if you just keep on doing it like it's just uh, an everyday thing, that's a problem. So where it says, can diamonds be burnt? And it says, when they lose a bond with each other, when you lose your bond with Jesus Christ, when you lose your bond with reading your word, when you lose your bond with walking and talking godly, being a godly person that God created you to be when you was born again. If you lose that bond with Jesus Christ, you're in risk of being burned by hellfire. You're in risk of going to hell when this life is over for you. Yes, just because you was a diamond, just because, you know, you was a son of God, 
because we, we equate the diamonds to the sons, of, sons of God. Just because you was a son of God doesn't mean that you automatically get a place in heaven because I'm reminded of the scripture where it says, Lord, Lord, did I prophesy in your name? Did I cast out demons in your name? And God said, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. And pretty much what he was saying is just because you cast out demons, just because you did a good work in God, if you're not living for God on a regular basis, if even if you're casting out demons, but here you is being rude and mean to a, a person, or it could be your, your relative, or it could be a stranger. Or I know some people where they're nice to strangers, but they're mean to their relatives. But you're casting out spirits. You over here casting out a spirit to somebody else, but then you're being mean to your relative, then that's a problem. So that's where God says, you're working of iniquity, I never knew you. But Lord, Lord, did I? I don't know you. You can't break your bond with Jesus Christ because if you do, you're risking it all to be burned. So be mindful of that. Those are all the revelations that God gave me regarding the diamond. A diamond in a rough meaning it's a process of being a follower of Christ. But are you willing to go through the difficult journey of being a son of God? Are you willing to deny the flesh? Are you willing to do certain things that your flesh oppose but God pretty much prays? You gotta think about all of that. And this is mainly for those who are born again. However, if you are not born again, don't think that you can have a, a party in this either. <laughs> you can't join a party too. You can join a party, but you got to give your life to God. You got to be born again. The first step is accepting Jesus Christ, Lord. I do accept you as my Lord and Savior. Get baptized in water. However, don't think it's just over with. The next day you can just start cussing and hanging with the old folks that you used to hang with or the smoking or uh, have an attitude, don't think you can continue doing that because you quoted um, God when you been born again and got baptized. It's a process that you got to do every day. You got to read. You do you like the Netflix and chill? Okay, how about Netflix and read your Bible? <laughs> and I mean like, don't turn the TV on, but turn your Bible on. Or if you do turn the TV on, turn on TV in or something. Or it was, I'm not saying that you got to do it every single moment, every time you turn the TV on. However, don't don't be that old same person you used to be. That's pretty much all I had to say regarding that. Make sure you like, make sure you share, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day.